Hello all, in this video we are going to see how and why to call SQL Server Stored Procedure in Source Qualifier Transformation instead of Stored Procedure Transformation in Informatica. Now for, for the sake of this video, I have created a very simple stored procedure. There can be many complex reason for which we create stored procedure actually. Uh, but for the sake of this video, uh, I have just created a very simple stored procedure. Now here we have this employees table which is having 11 columns and 111 records and now um, the stored procedure which I am creating which I have created over here will give me or will return me the results uh, which is having a higher date uh, with whatever um, value I will pass to that stored procedure so in this case I have passed uh, 2007 January and if I execute this stored procedure with that input parameters I will, I will be getting these four uh, four records. So what I am expecting in Informatica output is uh, I will pass I will or I will call this stored procedure with this input parameter and I should get these four records in in, in as an output. Uh, so let's call this stored procedure in Informatica in stored procedure transformation first. So for that just create the mapping that stored proc test and let's create stored procedure transformation okay. so as expected since we are passing or since we are we have date as uh, input input parameter to our stored procedure so the date higher date is appeared as in parameter however we haven't specified any out parameter in our stored proc but the output default out parameter which we got is return value so what this return value will give you it will it will return one if this stored procedure uh, executed successfully and returns zero if this stored procedure fails now uh, if we run this stored procedure transformation from Informatica it will give me only 1 or 0 it won't give me all these 11 records which I am expecting actually so what we have to do for that we just have to specify these out parameters all these 11 out parameters in this stored procedure but what will happen in that case since those out parameters will be either varchar or integer data type it can hold only one value cannot hold all the four values which we are expecting so even if we add the, those out parameters over here it will give only one record instead of all four records so what we can do is we can just call this stored procedure as we are calling it over here just call this stored procedure in source qualifier transformation I will delete this stored procedure transformation let's create okay let's pull this employees so this is my source this is exactly same definition as we are seeing over here this employees table and I will store these output or our output to employees same flat file the structure is same exactly same select all and just connect all the ports and call this same exactly same stored proc source qualifier transformation just create the mapping or we have just created the mapping it's in valid state just create the workflow now okay. let's open the workflow Now just execute this work. Let's verify the connections. So that's pointing to HR and output we are expecting at this. Okay. 
I will delete the existing file. All right. So we are all set to go. Let's execute the workflow. Okay. So as expected, it returned four records. So even if we run this stored procedure over here, it returns four records with eleven columns. Now let's verify the out file. Yes. So it did return all four records with all the columns which we are expecting. Thank you for watching this video.